Hey, welcome back. This is Lupe Rodriguez, and uh, today we're going to be reviewing this uh, Hydrolite. <clears throat> Runs on water, no batteries needed. So uh, stay tuned. So, uh, welcome back, and like I said, today we're doing this gear review. Hydrolyte, runs on water, no batteries needed, up to uh, 300 hours. It says here, long lasting, two in one, a flashlight and a lantern. So let's see what we got. Got this battery here. So I already took the, I opened it earlier and looked at it, and, and this is the fuel cell. This is the fuel cell that, that it comes with. See right here? This fuel cell right there. Before we take a look at it, I mean, before we, I'm gonna read this, how it works. So according to this uh, package, blah, 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 blah. Let me just read some of the, some of the stuff in the, in the back. Um, general operating instructions for flashlight mode, push button to turn on. For lantern mode, slide the top and push button to turn on. So I guess this is the, the lantern mode. And that's the, the flashlight mode. To conserve hydrolyte fuel cell energy, keep light off when not in use. Alright, so disclaimer, refer to traditional batteries typically used in flashlights which make electricity from energy stored exclusively inside the batteries. The hydrolyte uses a fuel cell, which is not considered a traditional battery as it requires external elements, such as water, to make electricity. Let's see what else it says. 25 year shelf life, will not in use. A new unused hydrolyte will store from 20 years, 25 years in a non in a dry, non-extreme environment. Fuel cell has been tested to run for days on a single water dip at room temperature. Fuel cells can be can provide up to 300 hours of light over, multi, over multiple water dips before the life of the fuel cell is exhausted. Well, what that means, it's not gonna provide light, you know, for 300 hours, but you know, Essentially, it's not gonna stay on for 300 hours, and it, it, that's the life of the battery. 300 hours, so, you know, after multiple dips, you dip in water. I mean, and then it, it comes on, it stays on. <clears throat> but I just wanted to to show you all just kind of a, the ins and outs of it. And slight expansion exp, expansion of the fuel cell <clears throat> at the end of its life is normal. So I guess the battery is gonna puff up <laughs> at the end of the fuel cell. When it doesn't come out of the little barrel, it means that it's about to <laughs> expire <laughs> or end the life of the, of the fuel cell. Fuel cell does not drive energy directly from the water. Water is a catalyst which enables the process of transferring electrons from the anode to the cathode to create power. So it, it needs water to make connection. Fuel cell needs water to run. Without water, fuel cell will not run. When water dries out, fuel cell may be re-dipped in any water to generate more power. Fuel cell can be re-dipped multiple times before the life of the cell is exhausted. After fuel cell has been exhausted, it may be discarded and replaced with a new fuel cell. According to the instructions, let's see what they say. Let's see, four easy steps. I like four easy steps. Twist off the bottom and remove fuel cell from hydrolyte. From hydrolyte. Twisting off the bottom. Removing the fuel cell. Bum, bum, bum. And it's got this uh, metal surface here, I guess that, you know, and it's got some, the metal little prongs there that you know, makes uh, contact, so you can't mess it up. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of stuff I dig. Remove plastic wrap from fuel cell. 
and immerse in water 10 to 12 seconds to generate power. Vigorously shake out excess water. Insert fuel cell back into the hydrolyte with fuel cell facing forward and turn on. And I got my trusty Christmas coffee mug. It's inside. Got some water in there. About to dip the thing in there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'm pulling the fuel cell out, kind of draining some of the excess water. All right, so vigorously, I'm going to shake this thing. All right, so I'm inserting this way, putting the, the bottom back on, and turning the light. See that? So, so this is a flashlight and also a lantern. So there's the lantern part. The light's still on. All in all, I mean, I have to kind of play with it. I have to check, uh, see how long the the flashlight will uh, will last. If it lasts, you know, an hour or two, whatever, that's pretty good, you know. Uh, uh, okay, and what else has got? Got this little thingy right here, right here, where you can now uh, attach it to. Uh, to a robe, to a limb, to a nail in your garage. And I'm pretty skeptical. Uh, I'm a skeptic when it comes to um, SEO on TV products because you know they they don't last very long or they don't work very good or as they don't work as they said on SEO on TV or as said on TV. But for emergency purposes, this is uh, just right. I mean, it's a little long. Um, hold on. Let's see. Let's get this. Uh, and this thing is ten and a half inches tall. Yep, that's how tall that, that thing is. And the base of it is three and a quarter down here. I mean, yeah, the bottom. That's two and three sixteenths, ten and a half inches tall. It might fit in a glove box, but it might not. But definitely fit in somewhere in your in the cab of a vehicle. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more reviews, let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.